Okay, so here's a quick one for you. We're over here at the Outlaws Farm. Card in question is a 2005 uh, Club Card DS Petrol that we put a little tray on for the mother and father outlaw. What it's doing is intermittently not starting. And I'll show you what the issue is. It's very, very simple. So with any little petrol uh, motored car, this is the first thing that I would check, and that is your battery. How to check that under load when starting is get your multimeter, put positive and negative on the correct terminals of the battery, switch him to volts, test him there, but then also test it under load so you're depressing the throttle. With little club cars, there's a way to put them in service mode. It is pull this gear out, turn it over, and now you'll find, even in neutral, it'll want to fire. So watching your voltage when you depress the throttle. So to put them in service mode, or out of service mode, it's again, pull that cog, turn him over, and now it'll, it'll start in uh, forward and reverse again. Now if it's any other model car that doesn't have the switch that you can reverse to put it in service mode to try and start it in neutral, you can maybe nose it up against something, nose the front of the cart up against the wall, maybe put something soft in front of it, and just depress the accelerator ever so slightly so it just wants to wind over and keep your eye on the voltage. So obviously that battery tested okay, so now we're going to move on to these micro switches here. If it's intermittent starting fault, it can be this micro switch on the rear of the forward and reverse that's not engaging properly. We'll take a look at that. Okay, so as I said, this one's about a 2005. Um, it's pretty much the same with all DS's. They've got the same forward and reverse, and this is what the issue is. There's your forward and reverse selector. On the back of the forward reverse selector, I'll just go around the other side. So you can see it easier there's two micro switches here and here what's happening is you see that cam gear it's only plastic and it's got a lot of play in it and it wears down what's happening that's in for, that's in forward there but it's not disengaging this micro switch you can see it's still so if you force it over further and you'll hear it actually has now engaged. There's a ton of play in that. You can either replace that uh, gear there, or you can bend these slightly down, like move it away from there like so. Just bend that arm ever so slightly down. And it, again in reverse, and you'll have to listen to a buzzer. So it's not quite engaged, force it over harder. And there it's clicking there. So I'm just going to give that little shaft there a bit of a, a tiny bend in it, or if it's really bad, go and replace this there. We'll turn that buzzer off. Yep, so it's just not activating that micro switch. I'll show you how I'm actually going to bend it. Hold it up like that, and just, I don't know if you can see it with one hand, but hold it up shut and just push down on that. With two hands, it's a ton easier, but just try it like that. Once you've got a little bend in it, you see now the end of it has just got just here, a little bit of a bend. So now if you push it into first, it'll activate as it's coming up that cam the, there. Done. And that's that car there. 05 DS club car. Now, the one thing I probably didn't mention in that video is if you put the multimeter on your battery and it registers anything under 12 volts, whack a battery charger on it. That might be your first point of call. Now, if it registers 12 volts with your multimeter on it, that's when you do the load testing of depressing the throttle. Um, if it dips uh, anything in the 11.5, 11.7 volts, uh, that should be fine. If it's dipping sharply, again, chuck it on charge. Um, if it's dropping, and I mean, I've seen these things still fire up with eight volts. Um, if it's dipping that sharply, 
charge it first. If it continues to do it, maybe even replace the battery before you go too much further. All right, hope that helps. Do hit the subscribe, it costs you nothing. Put some comments if you've got a specific problem with your car. Um, I'm going to do some terminal uh, videos on electric carts. The electric guys seem to have uh, maintenance issues with their cables and, and battery terminals. I will do one on that very shortly. So, thanks for watching.